Hello guys and welcome to episode 65 of my Total War Warhammer 2 playthrough playing as Lokia Felhart going for world domination. Today we are continuing after taking the Black Pyramid of Nagash which is an awesome battle. I make sure to go back and check that out if you haven't already. But today we're just starting off by finishing off our turn. I think all of our armies have been moved. It's just our agents that need to carry on and scout for us. Dekan, Kar and Sabioth are staying where they are, but Kakalkin, Tothalthrak and Tharkit need to continue on their merry way. I might actually just stay here in between Schwarzhaf and the Moot so we can keep an eye on Belagar Ironhammer. We're probably trying to sort his units while we're at it. As long as we don't get a critical failure, we can keep using that to level him up. That way he won't get killed as easily by enemy agents. So Thalthrak is coming down towards Qatar. And then we have Tharkit, who could probably keep an eye around Altdorf, honestly. Or maybe I should just attack this army. Yeah, let's assault the units here. Great. So that's going to do a little bit of damage, but not too much. It looks like they might be going for Noln, but Noln is well defended. So that's not going to be too much of an issue. Is that everything? I believe it is. Just Buskrone here. Buskrone. I, I guess we could have just try and assassinate people. Or wound. I think previously she was in an army that got taken out, wasn't she? Doesn't really have many points in the specialist wound or damage walls. She is cleanse corruption and replenish troops. In that case, I might just give her the Cauldron of Blood and that we'll put it into one of these armies. Maybe into Evelyn's army, actually. Not a bad idea. She's right there, so may as well. Cool. So that's sorted. Commandment available in the Southern Badlands. Oh, we need the public order there. Moment available in the Wasteland. Uh, I guess we'll go for Public Order as well. Although Public Order is relatively high. Let's just put it to tax. I bet there's a lot of places where we can change commandments right now. From Public Order to tax. For example here. And probably here. <laughs> <laughs> and that would make us loads of money, but I'm not going to bother going through all of that now. Just upgrade the Eagle Gate. Very board low. Upgrade Admiral Sokka's Barbstorm. Very nice. Upgrade Tor Anlek. And that's going to give us the Black Citadel of Anlek, which gives us plus 10 public order. Uh, minus 10 leadership when laying siege for local enemies. Uh, extra ammunition for siege defense and extra income from all buildings in all regions of the province. It does provide extra garrison as well, that's kind of cool. What else could we use? I guess probably just the Dreadmont so we can push more Lord Recruit rank. Right, over to Numas. Numas can have public order building. Ofa. Get the walls and upgrade the port. And it might be worth grabbing spices, honestly. Otherwise, I'd probably just get an artisan's house. So we'll grab spices for now whilst we continue to trade. And there's Andre, probably just going to put in the artisan's house there. But how are we doing for slaves? I do just want to double check this. Do it by current slaves. Any other places that I need to turn off? Southern Grey Mountains, Great Mortis Delta. Okay, yeah, cool. But these, they're not anywhere near full, are they? So, no, we're good. Cool. Right, Tor Acha. Upgrade all of this. Hunting camp. Not really worth upgrading, I don't think. In which case, we'll just grab the Dreadmonts and the Sorceress building, maybe the extra research rate. Admiral Bastar can't upgrade anything and neither can Admiral Singal and neither can Admiral Lovok. Okay. That's it. Let's move on.
So Nagarond, please just finish off Norska. Get rid of them for me. And then I can make you declare war on the Empire if you're not already at war with them. I think they are, actually. Pirates of Sartosa. They're going to attack Marathi. Interesting. Death Streak Terror Geists. And the Rotting Leviathans. This could actually be pretty scary, honestly. Marathi we'll jump on in. You. I think Marathi technically has anti large. Yeah. But she'll be okay. And does she have Spirit Leech? Can't remember. I think she might have. If she does, this is quite easy. Marathi. Scam for more wins. It's going to be interesting to see her army in play uh, without any reinforcements for once. We've got Soul Blight, Mel Cosmos, Fire Masma, and Power of Darkness. Okay. No Spirit Leech. We can hit the ward, Wand of Karadon onto the large guys as well. I'm going to probably fall back. Have these behind. Um, the Corsairs on the flanks. Same with the Cold on Dread Knights, but we'll keep them together. And then we'll have Bloodrack Shrines amongst my infantry. And the Bloodrack Medusa on one side. With Marathi amongst them. Let's start the battle. So they're just going to have to wait and come towards us. I'm a little bit worried that the Death Streak Terror Geist might just absolutely wreck Marathi. But I guess we'll just have to make sure that all of my ranged forces focus on them. In some ways, I kind of wish you could make them land without having to give them an attack order sometimes. The winds are against us. And these Bloodwreck Shrines, they do give a buff to our infantry if they're in melee combat, but I'm probably going to use the majority of the time for ranged combat versus the Death Strike Terror Geists. My Medusa can definitely be used for that for sure. Okay, this is fine. We can probably overwhelm these Death Reap Terror guys if we just surround them. The other good thing about this is we'll keep them pinned on the ground by doing this. I'm gonna make these guys skirmish. Okay, we'll bring down the shot on top of the Rotting Leviathan. We can melt cost Mr. Buying Miasma, the Death Guard. We're just going to do um, the Soul Blight upgraded onto the Rotting Leviathan and the Death Trick Terror Geist. Oh, I think we already took out one of the Death Trick Terror Geist, maybe? Unless it took off. Oh yeah, it took off. It's attacking Marathi. I'm not sure if I want to get these involved just yet. I'm going to pull these Dread Knights away. And I'm going to get them to go clean up some of the infantry, because that's what they're good at. Uh, I also want to get my Medusa away from that. Okay, how are we doing there? Need to get on top of the Death Strike Terror Geist. Keep shooting the Rotting Leviathan. Marathi really doesn't have that much damage. <laughs> that fight against the Death Streak Terror guys is taking way too long. Cold 
Let's go run down the zombie pirate gunnery mob. Good old cold one dread knights. Watch them charge in there. Awesome stuff. Right, I could make use of the Dark Conduit here just to get rid of that Depth Guard. Fantastic. Almost killed off the Rotting Leviathan there. We need these ones to all go and attack the other Rotting Leviathan. Okay. Uh, let's try and save Marathi maybe. Drop another spell down there. Get down the Soul Blight. These two can both come over and help Marathi as well. Now these Harganeth Executioners do have quite a good amount of alpha damage. So they might be able to do some damage to the Rotting Leviathan. Surprised these are lasting so long though, the Zombie Pirate Gunnery Mob. Especially against three units of Dread Knights, but I guess Dread Knights aren't actually that great. The merciless host. The executioners. Still got entire units. Of Hagen it's executioners for them to get through. Wow, she is very low on health. We just about saved her. Well, there is the Death Street Terror Geist again. Let's make sure we hit that. Alright, that's army losses. Good. Blasted that to pieces. Nice. Not too bad. A little bit messy, but that's a bit of a wonky army, honestly. I don't have barely any decent range forces. The Black Art Corsairs are the only ones. I guess the Medusas kind of did quite a bit of damage in that to the the beasts. I have need of slaves. He will replenish our troops, and that's going to be the Paris of Sartosa destroyed. So that's fantastic. I tried to assault my units there, the Tomb Kings, but they failed. What well, we're going to see Reichland. We're going to beat back the armies of Nagarond. Oh, good. They really have a lot of armies, don't they? I guess once we start sweeping through the bottom side and then start pushing up, we will have a much greater concentration of forces than they will. I could have gone for some weird Dark Conduit play there, but I'm pretty sure we would have just had like army losses inflicted almost immediately due to being outnumbered. Get the larger bone, larger army penalty from that. There's two armies up here, and they've got three armies down here. I assume these are the only three armies they have south, and then those are the two armies north, and that's probably it. Got five armies in total. Right, the dwarves are destroying Oakenhammer. Okay. And we'll just let Black Crag do their thing. Alright. On our way to taking out Koran as well. Not many nations left anymore. My right, assassin, Evelyn Head Reaper. And we'll do Assassin's End probably, just for the extra melee attack and her action success chance reduction. And the extra experience for Evelyn. This is the Alchemist. We can get the Satchel of Potions, which is actually quite nice because it gives us a potion of toughness. Or we can get loyalty and money. And also experience. I think I'll just do... See, let's do the Satchel of Potions for that one. Cool. Mission issued. Raise or sack Karag Orud. Okay. I think that's where the last of the forces of Koron are. Then we got uh, Overseer there, Elf Servant, Assault Units. My, my. Right, Morgan got Sea Legs. That's good. That's going to speed her up. And I guess we can go through this here as well. We'll do Perform Better on Campaign for now. That's good. The minus 50% attrition is actually handy. More so than the upkeep for once. And she's going to get uh, replenishment now anyway. 
I think she's out of the woods in terms of the attrition. Right over to Serie. I guess we kind of just march as far as we can. So we can attack Kalaknorn next turn. Down here. It's time to take out the dwarves. So, let's see. I guess they can attack with the Astra. It doesn't really matter. Gonna move as close as I can with Ellie. And we'll make the attack. And I'll do it onto the army outside the walls. That way they won't have the walls to help them out. And my shades will be very, very effective. May their death be slow. Well, let's jump on in and slaughter them. We will probably lose more by playing this out, but I feel like it's a bit cheesy to auto-resolve. I'm saying that. Look at this map. Okay, they are definitely screwed. Especially since I can start right in their face with all of my shades. I'm going to move these Shades. ones back. We'll do the same here. Now Actually, let's ready. just spread these out a bit more. Battle ready. Okay. Supreme sorcerer. Uh, these can't deploy further forwards, can they? I'm going to deploy this on the right-hand side. We'll put them on to multi-shot rounds. Uh, these can move forwards. Okay, main thing here is taking care of their artillery sooner than later. But they are very, very dead. Okay. Forwards we go. Already slaughtered the long beards on this side. Let's just put a breath attack onto the bolt throw there. Put another one into the bolt throw. Okay, cool. Uh, the rest, I guess, can be up to my shades. We've got so many dragons. Is she on a dragon as well? No, she's not. Right, looks like they're gonna start pushing more on this left-hand side. Let's just have all of these go and hit Thrund Hold fast. Okay, all of the shades from the second army can come over to the left hand side. And meanwhile, I'm going to have all of my dragons go destroy the bolt throwers. This Calibdis is actually losing out quite badly right now. Let's have all of my beasts go through on the top side. Right, I should be able to drop a really nice pit of shades here. Destruction. Look at that damage. Oh, it's juicy. Alright, these three can land there, these three can land here. I could have probably dropped some breath attacks in here as well, but look at that. Damn. Good penumbral pendulum from here as well. How much do we need for level 2? Will we have enough? We can do an upgraded pit of shades though. What an absolute slaughter. Okay, 
I'll send a couple dragons back to deal with those crews. Meanwhile, we shall absolutely wreck these guys. Oh, look how many dwarves are just getting annihilated right now. That's it. The army losses. <laughs> that is gross. The amount of kills that my shades have got here. <laughs> Look at the bodies of dwarves. Wave after wave of shots comes through. Just massacres so many of them. I need to actually chase them. Because this isn't a settlement battle. This is just outside the settlement. So ideally I need to get right down on top of them with all these dragons. Now this dragon diving in, I mean we can use her ability to slow them down. And then we can land on them. And then we can Dark Conjure it. Okay, she's not getting close enough. That was really bad. Did that cancel the spell? That's weird. I think they had uh, some slayers or something, which is why the battle didn't end immediately. Oh well. Let's keep chasing them for now. Trying to get on their leader there. Get rid of him. Okay, he's a goner. And we're taking out the other one as well. Good old dragons ripping them to shreds. I'll end the battle there. That'll do. Cool. 200 kills for one of those shades units. <laughs> Ridiculous. Yeah, they actually had uh, two units of slayers. The giant slayers and the normal slayers. Those pillar shades as well. They were pretty grim. No chance. So, considering the map, it actually turned out just like the auto resolve probably would have. Although I did take quite a lot of damage on some of my calibdis. This was your death. Give me those sleeves. That right, looks like we're still going to have to fight for the Supreme town. That's okay. We'll just auto resolve that time around. Sleeve. And I'm just going to occupy this time. Keep the public order reasonable in this province. A good point was made in the comment um, that I probably don't need to loot and occupy anymore because we don't really need the cash from the slaves. So in some cases, I am probably just going to start occupying rather than looting and occupying. But uh, here we have a gold smelter and the guild halls to make up for the lack of slaves we took. And we're going to start moving up to the Lost Plateau. Right, she's leveled up. One point away from a Black Dragon. Get Hakati's Blessing. And for Yastra... Where can we go with her? So we've got Confer Bloodlust and Ravager Rewards. That's pretty much all we need in terms of buffing skills. Give her the Ward of Cain, actually. It's not too bad. Makes her less vulnerable on her dragon. And then after that, maybe just Dreaded Slaver or the Iron Disciplinarian. Might help with public order issues as we continue to expand. Let's jump over to Caladriel. Caladriel can just bypass Kemri and head straight towards Numas. At Kemri, we can upgrade these. We'll do that while we're there. 
Dreadlord. And it looks like Helenor has leveled up, so we'll go for the enfeebling foe. Uh, Kadril. She ready to go? She is indeed. Get her out onto the water. Bypass this wreck. Spreading terror. Okay, never mind. So it's a battle. We'll just carry on. She is ready to go. We're going to need another army here. So let's use Admiral Vraneth to do another one. I'm going to start moving him up and we'll recruit the next one at Arnhem. So we can now get characters at rank 20. And for Dreadlords, that means they get a dragon. That's something worth noting. Ooh, spiteful. Yes, please. Corvivit. Corvishish. What a name. Okay, dragon. Revered name of power. Let's see what we get. Beast Binder. Or Fang Shield. Definitely Beast Binder. The extra leadership and charge bonus for all of the beasties. And the minus lead... Uh, Upkeep is okay, but not the main thing. I command you now. Your inspiring presence, definitely Lashmaster, Raid Leader, Strength through Spite, Ravager Rewards, Confire Bloodlust, Kindle the Fury. Yep, that's fine. Root March for sure. And then Immortality. Oh yeah, we can get Immortality because she's level 20 as well. Cool. Grab Sadistic and Eternal Hatred. The Dragon Cloak. Then hard to hit. Okay. Put him into Dread Expansion. Start I recruiting. Dark we'll grab, first of all, a bunch of Calibdis. And some, dra some dragons. Let's do that. Right, over to Taniska. Get strength through spite with her now. And Galbaraz. It's going to be quite happy this turn. Plus 22. We're at minus 98. If I leave, will that still be the case? Yeah, still pretty happy. Okay. Where do we go with her? I think we're going to have to head her north. So that we can get ready to fight against the greenskins. Meanwhile here... Get the walls going. And probably the Dreadmance. Larishan. He needs to carry on through. And so does Malina. Malina needs to head towards Death Gorge. Although, saying that, let's take out Qatar first. Or not, because we have multiple armies in our way. Luen Leoncor, the Fey Enchantress, and all of the armies of the Tomb Kings. Well, that is an unlikely alliance right there, isn't it? God damn. Hmm. Well, we can kill the Fey Enchantress. Goodbye. But can we kill all of these other ones behind? What's Qatar like in terms of garrison? Oh, it's terrible. Alright, I guess we'll just go for it. Let's level her up first. Get that point in Raid Leader. That's actually going to help quite a bit. Oh, the Bretonians aren't even helping. Okay. Not sure if it's even worth fighting this on the battle map. Ah, let's do it anyway. May their death be slow. An open field battle against the skellies. We'll get to see lots of tasty kills. That one guy standing his ground in front of Qatar. The Tomb King maps are always really cool. I think they have some of the best battle maps in the game. Really awesome. Just gonna pull them back like so. 
Part of the battle. We'll group them, move them forwards. Push ourselves into range. We're up against the Tomb King and the Garrison, aren't we? Yeah. I guess we can charge forwards with the Calibdis already. <laughs> Look how quickly those skeleton archers get destroyed. Oh, damn. They're going to be disintegrated before they even get close. Especially with the War Hydra getting involved. Get in there, take out the Tomb Kings. Bully them to death. And then all just killing him. Nice and quick. There we go. I'm gonna take out that one as well. Reinforcements haven't even arrived. Okay, and they're both dead. <laughs> Great stuff. <laughs> now they're actually going to spread out into another formation. They are kind of forced to come through the center here, unless they go all the way around, which they might do. Nice breath attacks there for sure. And I could probably dive into this. And we'll drop the old Arcane Conduit there. Oh my. Not the Arcane Conduit, the Dark Conduit. Oh blimey, like the wave of death there was awesome. Drop the Block of Doom. Got the Wisdom Spark Wild Flom going. Great. This was a bit of a massacre, wasn't it? Let's get a breath attack from our War Hydra going. Oh, she's a bit far up. I'm gonna drop the Pan's Impenetrable Pelt so she gets the physical resistance and the speed to get out of there. That'll make all of our other beasties much stronger while we're at it. Okay, I think that's victory. It is indeed. Love seeing those Shades armies go to work. Although in that case, it was mainly our beasts that were just beating them up. Yeah, barely took any damage in the end. So that was me worried about the Bretonians and the Boom Kings being friends, but they, they weren't, and uh, yeah, we destroyed them very quickly. Leave no stone unturned. I am going to loot and occupy this one. Although I probably shouldn't have. Supreme and from here, well, we'll see what Luan the Uncor does. Dark he might just attack the settlement. I'm not sure he can, though. Won't be able to do anything. Grab Earthing or Shielder. I think that might have been some of her damage that she took was miscast. Anyway, Malinur's on his way. We've already got two armies coming up here. We've got one army going in there. I might need a second army down here. So let's bring Malinur down and we'll have Larishian head across towards Death Gorge. Supreme 
To heck. I guess can head along with Marathi. We'll have them meet up and we can put Marathi in friendly territory so she gets from replenishment. It might be worth getting the minus attrition there, actually. Could be really handy. I'm going to get the first sorceress for the extra hero recruit rank, plus two for sorceresses, but that increased hero recruit rank. Oh yeah, that is hero recruit rank, plus two. Hero capacity is plus one. Okay. And that unlocks the ability to recruit sorceresses in all provinces. Really? Oh, that is cool. That is so useful. Damn. Okay. Do we have a sorceress for Loki? Don't believe we do. But yeah, I guess they're going to be level 7 here. That's fantastic. Probably want fire magic. Aggressive and confident. Oh, let's get the confident one. Sorceress of Nagara. And she can join that army. Cool. That'll do. Corsairs to me. My dark heart is yours. And I'm gonna kid her out as well. Sorceress. Give her the shield of Grond, maybe. Actually, no. Let's just give a missile resistance. That's a good one. Or a caster, and. Or if there's any weapons, maybe Shrieking Blades, okay. If she gets attacked, she can cause fear and terror. Ward save's pretty nice. No enchanted item that she can use, but we'll give her the Assault of Stone. I like that a lot. Okay, great. She's sorted. But Loki uh, needs to continue his recruitment. So let's now grab him some Calabdis and some dragons. Actually, I might only have two dragons because I'm finding with like three or four. I don't really micro them very well. So I might as well just use extra shades because they can kind of babysit themselves. My Evelyn can level up. She can take an extra point in Raid Leader. Right, and now we need to head towards Grunberg or Altdorf, one of the two. I might actually head towards Altdorf, maybe. But if we do that, we leave Nuln. And all of these settlements pretty vulnerable. Just going to put the buildings into this one while we see it. Yeah, I think I'm going to move down here. And we'll have Karlek kind of like follow us there. Because with the amount of Caleb this he has, we should be fine in any battle, really. Don't have many shades though. Right, over to Alana. Time to take Karlek and Gazar. There are walls here. But we should be able to do it. Need to give that to her. Yeah, we just need to get onto the walls ASAP. A little bit concerned about the cannon and the grudge thrower. Destruction lies Could beyond. be an awkward battle, but we'll give it a go. They don't have any magic, of course, because they're dwarves. But they do have magic resistance, I guess, so our magic is not going to be as effective. We'll see. I should be able to get onto the walls pretty quick. Start the deployment, start the battle. Off we go. These two can attack the gate. And uh, we'll also have that attack the gate. Alright, go on Alana. Straight in there. Actually, I might want to use her for a breath attack. Let's bring her to one side. Uh, meanwhile, I'm going to drop a 
burning head in here. Decent amount of damage. We're gonna hit the Coralers as well. It is. Alright, let's have Alana go and land. And uh, I'm just gonna have her drop her ability over here. That's basically why I'm flying her over. Brilliant. You know, the dark shards are firing at the quarters there. I might as well have these guys climb the walls with the shades. And these should be backing the gate, but they're not. I'm going to soul stealer all of this slot. Oh, let's move her away. Good. All of these need to start getting to the edge of the walls. Because we win the ranged engagement, no doubt. We are ready. Understood. Shades. Following orders. Dealers in death. Destroy. Sorceress of Grand. Well, I might do another burning head. That's going to do quite a bit of damage, actually, unless it turns to the left. Or right, sorry. Yeah, it might bounce off this wall. Uh, it wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. Sort of veered off to the right. Oh, well. With these shades getting on the walls here, we'll start doing loads of damage. And Alana could certainly use the Dark Conjure, I think. go. That clears out the gatehouse. <laughs> oh my dip. Alright, let's have a couple of these run off and start fighting whilst the rest can stay up on the Shades. side. Without question. At once. Oh, maybe I just drop a flame storm down here. Aria, Aria, Aria. To destruction. I guess I could throw them into the. Oh, the gate's closed again, isn't it? Attack that gate. Oh, nice. I think that flame storm just ripped them a new one. Let's uh, get on top of these ranges and stuff. Understood. Oh, that's actually the, the iron break is uh, blowing up my shades. shades. And them. Doing loads of damage there. I am destruction. Bloodshed. Shades. All right, it might be a good idea actually for. Alana to come and deal with this Thane first. Shades. As you say. Battle ready. Onwards to murder. Servant of Hikati. The merciless host. Alright, we're killing a lot of the guys on that side at least. Another spell onto the back side of those. Gonna use the forbidden rod. Daughter of Nagaroth. Right, and the rest of these are up on the gate. Probably have at least a couple of them come over now. Do this side. 
We understand. Black of heart. Alright, let's just use that dark venom and get that guy dead. Go on, kill him off. It's your one and only job, Alana. Let's kill him. Still can't get through this gatehouse. Right, I think I'm going to have my leader, Alana, just land in the Iron Breakers and use Dark Conduit. Getting there. Oh, lovely. I didn't want that to bounce, but it still did a lot of damage. I want them to all start attacking Alana, but they're just kind of ignoring her. Okay, once they get onto the edge of the walls here, they should start doing a lot more damage. Uh, and these guys just need to stay in cover. How's Alana? We need to get on top of those iron breakers again. Time to dark conduit. Okay, now they're attacking us. Brilliant. <laughs> That's one way to deal with the unit of iron breakers. Shade should be able to clean those up. Meanwhile, let's just come over here and drop some magic onto those units so that when we cause, cause army losses. He'll die very quickly. Following orders. The merciless host. Corsair hand bows. My power is yours. Great. Loads of damage done there. I think that caused the army losses I was looking for. Great. Job done. Not the smoothest of battles. Did take a lot of damage on some of our shades. But the magic there was invaluable. Did so much work. 279 or 97 kills, sorry, for our sorceress. Good. Well, that cleans up another dwarven army. As well as that garrison. We did lose a unit of shades. Tear this place apart! Let's just loot and occupy this one. We're probably going to be here for a little while. And while I am, I'm going to grab the Den of Outlaws so that we can recruit ourselves a new unit of Shades. Okay, Alana, time for you to level up. Grab hard to hit. And our Fire Sorceress. I think I'm going to max out Scouting, yeah. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. We're going to leave it here. Next time around, I guess we'll be continuing on with Murdredessa. Probably just uh, kill off uh, this army of Avril. And then we'll move up to Wrecker's Point, maybe towards the Black Pit as well at some point. Yeah, still plenty to do this turn. Loads of armies still to move. That's it. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.